Good morning, church family. How's everybody doing today? All right, that's good. I'm glad to hear it. I thought that we might talk today about toast. Um, uh, in my family, I don't know if this is true for everybody, but in my family there are two types of toast. We have what we call toast toast, and we have what we call skillet toast. Okay. All right. Now, does anybody else make that distinction, or are we the only we're the only ones? All right. It looks like nobody knows the difference between toast toast and skillet toast. All right. Let me explain it to you because it's very important. All right. Uh, toast toast comes from a toaster. You take your two slices of bread, you put it in the toaster, you push the button. The toaster does all the work. It pops up when it's done. You don't have to sit there and watch it. You go and you get your butter and you try and butter it and you tear it all up to nothing piece in pieces and then you put the jelly on there and then the jelly gets everywhere I mean the jelly's getting any, everywhere anyway but I mean the holes in the bread they don't help okay so that is what we call toast toast right comes from a toaster very easy now skillet toast <laughs> skillet toast is when you take a slice of bread and you actually get a skillet and you put the heat on the skillet and you melt the butter and you put the toast or the bread down in the butter and the butter soaks up into the bread and it toasts and then you put down some more butter and you flip it and that butter soaks up into the other side of the bread and it toasts and it's like half a grilled cheese sandwich with no cheese on it, okay? <laughs> right? It's got, it's got butter all in there and, and then you can put your jelly on there. It doesn't tear up because you're just putting jelly on there and it is really a transcendent experience. Um, there is a big difference between skillet toast and toast toast in my family. And we say, hey, I'm going to make toast. There's usually a follow-up question of, oh, all right, what kind of toast? All right, are you making skillet toast or are you gonna make toast toast, all right? Uh, now I'm bringing all that up to say because it's much easier to make toast toast, right? Uh, you don't have to wash a pan afterwards. You don't have to sit there and watch it and care about it burning because it's going to pop up when it's time. Uh, toast toast is very easy to make, all right? Uh, skillet toast takes a little time, takes a little effort, but arguably is better in every way, okay? So that being said, right, the point I'm trying to make is that shortcuts aren't always worth it, okay? Shortcuts aren't always worth it. And I see that in our scripture for today, where Jesus is in the wilderness, and the devil comes to him and offers him three very tempting shortcuts to get things done. Right? You're hungry? We can fix that real quick. But Jesus says no. All right? Listen, you want to be in charge? We can fix that real quick. But Jesus says no. All right? Listen, you want everybody to know that you're the Messiah? We can fix that real quick. But Jesus says no, right? Because some things can't be done with shortcuts, all right? Some things have to play out the way they're supposed to, all right? And I see that with us as we are going through this Lenten journey, the temptation to take shortcuts and go ahead and get to Easter already rather than singing all of these dirges, <laughs> right? Rather than, rather than spending all this time in penitence and self-reflection and, and just focusing on all the ways that we fall short, right? It can be very tempting to go ahead and say, let's just get to Easter right now, all right? But that's not the best kind of toast you're gonna get, all right? The other toast is going to be better. Does that make sense? All right, will you pray with me? All right, I'll say some words and you repeat after me. Dear God, Dear God help, us help us as we go through, we go through this, season this season of Lent. We pray this, we pray this in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. All right, thank you very much.